Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video we're going to be going over our team of Togekiss, uh, Snorlax, and Escavalier. Um, but one of the games we're going to focus on Togekiss in general, and I'm going to put that game up front. It's going to be where we get hard countered in the lead and we come back through uh, good energy management and especially good shield management and just recognizing when we can farm down with Togekiss or what we have to do to win a match. So we're going to go ahead and get started now. Definitely hit that subscribe button to get more of these videos when they come out. Let's go. Usually what I like to do is um, put the video at 200% speed, but we're going to slow this one down so that we can watch it in real time-ish. A little fast, but pretty much real time. So we lost the lead. We're coming with Lapras. They end up coming in with the Scavalier. So Earthquake's going to do a lot of damage to a Scavalier, but the thing is, the Scavalier is also a little frail. So you, even though Body Slam is resisted, it still can do a lot. But we're, I think we're going to go directly for this uh, Earthquake. He's, uh, if I'm him, I'm probably a Shield because why would I ever bait, right? He does not shield. Okay, so he's fine just countering down our, Lap our <laughs> Lapras, our Snorlax here, and we're going to be looking for probably coming in with Togekiss. We know he's still got the um, Registeel in the back, which is going to be really awful. Um, so we got to take a look at our switch timer here. It is getting close to switch back up, so we probably want to switch as soon as possible. It looks like, oh, we're going to try to catch a Flash Cannon here. And we do. So this is already the first step in how to um, gain back some advantage in this game since we started at such a disadvantage. And he's going to come in with Giratina Origin. So Giratina Origin is a little frail, so these drill runs are actually going to do um, some pretty good damage. And I think at this point I've decided I'm going to use both shields on... Um, probably going to use both shields on Togekiss, I believe. So let's see how this goes. All right, he Shadow Balls the Escavalier, and the Escavalier's down. I'm going to try to farm down. Uh, I decide this is way too quick for it to be a Shadow Ball. If it is a Shadow Ball, it's going to do almost all of our HP at this point. Shadow Ball is just such a strong move, especially coming from Giratina Origin. And I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and the only way I'm getting there is a double bait. Um, so I, I have a ton of energy on Togekiss. I don't know how many times you have baited on Togekiss. Not... A lot, I'll say that much. The saving grace here is that these flash fast moves are really not going to do anything. Lock on does almost no damage. I think it just does one damage. And um, we're going to throw the second aerial ace here. He definitely doesn't know how much energy we have, so he's got to block a flamethrower or he loses, right? So now we got to throw. I think we're going to get there for sure at this point. So I just have to shield this. I know he's farmed a little over. But we're definitely going to go for the flamethrower now. I've never gotten to three charge moves before on Togekiss, so this is absolute insanity to me. I can't believe I won this game. But this is one example of how to come back from a bad situation using a uh, a swap like, um, like Snorlax. So that actually was the fourth game in the set, but I wanted to put it up front so that uh, you guys can see what the thumbnail was all about. And let's go into the other games um, for this set. So this was the first game, and uh, yeah, we won the lead with a uh, Giratina Altered. That's the whole reason we're running Togekiss. Giratina Altered and Scavalier are um, leads a lot of the time. So I'm very surprised. It seems like every time I come in with a Napoleon switch in, they or Empoleon switch in, they don't want to shield the um, drill run. But the thing is. If they do, it really leaves us in a bad situation if they can get to another Hydro Cannon. But if they can't get to another Hydro Cannon, then obviously the right play is to just let Empoleon go, come in with your counter, and then see what happens. But actually, Togekiss took a lot of damage here. Yes, it does have a lot of HP. And what I decided to do here is come in with Snorlax just to eat up some of this... Um... Oh my god, and they got the boost. So we're going to go for the Body Slam. Oh... Why am I not throwing? Oh, I think I'm going to go for um, the no charge move win here because since he's got two shields left, I can't really throw. And he knew what was happening. Actually, this game is 24-16 Rod, the actual first um, non-tanking rank 10. So um, we win the lead, another Giratina uh, altered. He comes in with Swampert. 
um, really quickly, so we're very far behind where we usually are. Usually you can force the win in this matchup in a 2-1 to one shield scenario. But I notice that we're either just not getting to these moves fast enough or, or I don't know, we're, we're getting outpaced here by a lot. So I think I'm actually going to let Snorlax go after I throw this body slam. Probably pulls a shield from his side, but I don't think I'm ever getting to another body slam here. So I think I'll probably just give it away um, on this Hydro Cannon. It'd be interesting if I come in with a Scavalier to try to farm down because we do have extra shields. Maybe I can use a shield. Now it looks like I come in with Togekiss and I'm just going to take this, I guess. I guess I'm going to save my shields for another Togekiss uh, sweep at the end because I'm going to come in for sure. Oh, it looks like I'm going to throw here and see if he gets the shield. And then I'll probably bring in, I'll probably bring in a Scavalier right after this. I'm sort of a spectator at this point, too. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I have to save my shield for Togekiss, unless I think that I can actually KO this Giratina Altered, or throw so many moves that I make it to the switch timer and cause a weird um, situation where Giratina has to come in, uh, not Giratina, Reggie has to come in, Against a scavel against Togekiss, we'll see if I shield this. If I shield this, then I'm trying to make it to the next matchup. If not, I'm all in on this Togekiss. Um, which, if I shield here, I'm pretty sure I farm down. This is very close, though. This is very close. Cause he's, oh my god. Okay, we made it, and then we can farm this down. And even if he was to KO us, the Scavalier would come in and take him out. All right, 2-0. Well, technically 1-0, but there's one win in the later set. <laughs> Togekiss Mirror. So the one bad thing about it, about this um, mirror match is that I really need my Togekiss for later. So what I'm going to come in with is the Snorlax and try to eat up a lot of the energy that this Togekiss gained and have our Togekiss later for this matchup if I need to. Um, we did gain a lot of energy coming into the Togekiss matchup, but we also lost a lot of HP. And uh, Dragon Breath, along with Dragon Claw, is definitely going to be enough to take out the Snorlax, which I'm fine with. The I don't know how much farm he has at this point, but this is definitely a... Um, I probably shield this, right? Unless I think that I survive and then can take him out. Oh my god. That's a, a little bit risky. I guess I knew the limits at the time, uh, but watching it now, it's like, oh gosh. Super risky. And it looks like we're going to be all in on this Escavalier. Um, I assume this is going to be a bait, I think. Oh, no, it was. It actually was a bait, but I did not predict correctly. <laughs> and I, I thought about farming down, but I think we're going to have to take shields at this point because there still is a Togekiss in the back. And he's probably going to throw a superpower here, throw his Togekiss in and reset. Um, this is the Togekiss, and I'm fine actually throwing this because we're going to need to throw a move at Togekiss anyways, and then I can try to farm down. And now I have a ton of energy again, and I try to catch. I do not end up catching, but I don't think we get taken out here, and I think we can farm down, especially with that defense drop. Nice. So it's possible that a rock throw was pretty good, uh, or would have been good there, another good lead. Uh, so sometimes you're just going to win a lot of leads. Sometimes it's going to be really difficult, but... Uh, I decide to stay in a little bit here and do some damage because the Scavalier actually, at the end of the day, is really good against um, Snorlax and a Scavalier. And I want to make sure my Scavalier is alive for a possible Reggie Steel in the back. I know you're saying there's a Steel type out there right now. Why would you do that? But there are a lot of teams running Double Steel, especially Reggie Steel and Perserker or Reggie Steel and a Scavalier. So, and then I end up bringing a Snorlax later because I know I can just get to a body slam and KO this because it's so squishy. And now we have the shield advantage. And I think I can make it to an earthquake if he tries to farm all the way down, which is fine for me. But he's going to have a ton of energy coming back into the Togekiss matchup, which I'm not at 100% HP. So it might get a little risky, or I might have to shield once. We'll definitely not have to shield this first one, though. We can definitely take one sh uh, Shadow Sneak. Oh, it looks like I'm trying to preserve HP. It doesn't matter. I end up taking one anyways. Maybe it wasn't the first one, but it's the second one. And then he's going to come in with 
Reggie steal, this is fine. I'm gonna shield the first one probably, no matter what. And then we're definitely gonna beat it to a second drill run. Um, the counters just are much better energy. Well, it's just faster to get to drill run than it is to get to um, focus blast, right? Even though lock on's the fastest energy gain move in the game, um, Reggie Steel's charge moves take a lot of energy to get off. And even at this point, that Focus Blast doesn't mean that much to me. I still have Togekiss in the back for the Giratina, and they decide to quit. So I think that was a 5-0. Um, yeah, it was. So that was a 5-0, and after this, I got to 29-63, I believe. And um, actually crazy, after this game, I think I went 1-5 in the play... Uh, play till you win, which always feels pretty bad, but I was at 2963, I believe. So we're getting close every day. We're getting closer, but um, Master League's coming up here on Monday, and I want to make sure... Oh, you see my, my Dialga here. I don't have enough candy to make this, but it's a perfect Dialga, and I don't think I'm going to have... I obviously am not going to have enough time to get it ready for Master League, so I'm really hoping to hit rank 10 here before master league but if we come into master league that's fine um i haven't decided if i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna do premiere and master league um probably run pretty near the same team last season i ran togekiss machamp and a single move kyogre because i don't have the candy or the dust to make a um, kyogre second move but anyways if you like the video go ahead and like it it lets me know that um what i'm putting out there is great or something that y'all enjoy and is entertaining, and that's kind of all I'm here for, right? Trying to help y'all out, um, if you even need it. Some of y'all are higher than me and already ranked 10, but I'm getting close, and uh, hopefully we'll hit that rank 10 soon. Um, all right, I'll catch y'all in the next one.